singing? Yeah. So, uh, it's a party. Now, when I hear the word party, it doesn't sound churchy, you know? I mean, party, I mean, it sounds very worldly. Uh, oftentimes, our idea of church is very sanctimonious, traditional, and party doesn't seem to be describing the church setting. But when we look at the scriptures, we see that quite differently, that so many times, when God presented what is for us in the future and what is in the kingdom, a lot of the description is it's about a party. And so the first question that I'd like to ask you and myself is, what excites you in life? What do you find exciting in life? What things make you rejoice? Anybody? What excites you? Well, I was asking Louis this uh, morning in the car, and I said, hey, Louis, what makes you happy? And Louis says, hearing the word of God. Amen. Okay, aside from your relationship with Jesus, hearing the word of God, what excites you? That's an individual. What, what is it? Huh? Fellowship.
at her face, you know, is it positive or negative? She was just walking by, you know, she oh, no, oh, no. And then she said, I'm pregnant. Ah, that was another, you know. I was really jumping up and down and I was so happy. You know, your first child. I'm not saying, you know, I'm David, my fourth child. I was unhappy. <laughs> Thank you. 
our relationship with Jesus. That's what it is. There was a pastor right there who gave a sermon a long time and he said, he was uh, asked by a woman in the church and the woman said, Pastor, can I ask you a, or can I request something? I said, sure. And he said, the woman said, when I die, could you please make sure that they put a fork in my hand? A fork. So the pastor was, huh? And so the woman saw this, you know, this amazed, confused look from the pastor, you know, fork. And the, the woman says, oh, no, no, it's okay. I will let me explain to you why I want to have a fork when I die. You know? And he said, you see, I grew up with my grandmother and mother's our tradition in our family that, that whenever we had to go to a dinner, my grandma would say, keep the fork. And that means there's going to be a delicious cake coming afterwards. The best is yet to come. Keep the fork, you know? And so I know that I keep the fork because even if I die, I have that fork is I know that the best is yet to come, you know? And then the, the servant of the pastor says, and when that happened, that the woman died, she was holding a fork in her hand. And so she, the pastor was able to explain to the people what it meant, that what is in store for us is better. The best is yet to come, the dessert, you know? And yet, God is telling us that we don't have to wait until we die to enjoy God. Even now, Jesus says, we can have a celebration because it is in Christ. When Christ lives in us, all the good things happen. And, and you and I are invited. So the question is, are we going to respond? God says, I want you to come and be a part of the wedding supper. But I want you also to have a personal relationship. Now, again, I'm not talking about church. The church is a human organization that God is using. You know, that, that's good. But the most important thing is Jesus. Because Jesus is our Savior. Jesus is a person. He is God. He is real. And He lives. He is alive and He is saying, I am in through the Spirit of God is in us. He wants to have that relationship. So, Let's join the party, right? And I'm excited. Well, after this service, we will have a party out there. And uh, I don't know about you, but I brought my fork. <laughs>